Welcome back everybody, we're here today with another Batania tutorial. Today we're going to be having a look at how to automate production of mana using a thermal lily. This design I've come up with is actually quite compact and it's also completely tileable. Let's get into it. So here we have the basic layout. All that we have is a dispenser facing into an open block which is above a chest and a sticky piston behind that dispenser facing downwards. For starters we'll place a block of redstone on the bottom of the sticky piston and then into this chest we'll face a hopper going from the dispenser. We'll come to the top here and you can place this hovering hourglass wherever you'd like provided that it is in range to give a redstone signal through some redstone. Place the redstone on top of the dispenser and that will now be bud powering this sticky piston around here as well. Then what we'll do is we'll place 6 soul sand in there. Now that gives us 5 minutes for the cooldown, 45 seconds for the actual production of mana and then 15 seconds leeway on either side. The next thing we'll do is place a mana pool wherever you'd like the mana pool. We'll just place ours right around there. And then we'll place a mana spreader probably around there. Now we'll just face that into the mana pool as per usual. And the last thing really now for this is just to place the floating thermal lily around there. Now what we'll do is we'll get to the last little bit of the hopper. And you'll see our lava bucket will come through. Don't worry about that. What we'll need to do is place two empty buckets and then just fill in this area around here with anything you wouldn't be using. Now all that's left to do is wait the six minutes and see how this goes. Well there you have it. It is kind of messing up around there. That's just a glitch going on there. Nothing's actually happening and everything seems to have worked as it should have. So if you have a look here, the lava was dispensed. There should be one empty bucket in here and the two buckets still in there with one of those missing. We had one of those. One of those would have been missing and everything should now just continue as has just happened. Now if you'd like to also add on a little bit extra, you can also put one of these on this side and just complete this again on that side there. You can also just keep it going in either direction just like what we've done there. And I'll show you another trick to collecting all your buckets in one place now. So here it is. All you have to do is angle both of these hoppers into an open crate and you can do it for every two as well or you could do it every one but two makes it a bit more efficient. Make sure you've got a block below it, it'll drop through that way and it'll get collected on this side here when you put a hopper hock on top of a chest. The other thing you want to do is come around this side and I'll show you exactly how it's done. Pretty damn simple. One there, one there, and now it should be working. So that does it for today's tutorial. This is a really quick way to get a lot of mana really early game actually. If you want to have a look how it's done, I'll leave a link at the end of this video to my Let's Play series, which is a Garden of Glass Let's Play series going on right now. And it, I use this actually in that. Also, if you guys do have any questions or any comments, leave them down in the comment section below. And also like the video if you did like this, and subscribe if you want to see more things like this. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you next time.